August the twenty third. It's your. It's in your self interest. Therefore, explain why a wise person shouldn't get drunk, not with words, but by facts of its ugliness and offensiveness. It's most easy to prove that so-called pleasures when they go beyond and proper measure proper measure are but punish punishments Seneca moral letters eight three point two seven it's in your self interest therefore Explain why a wise person shouldn't get drunk. Therefore, explain why a wise person shouldn't get drunk. Not with words, but by the facts of its ugliness and offensiveness. Offensiveness. It's most easy to prove that so-called pleasures, when they go beyond proper measures, are but punishments. Is there a less effective technique to persuading people to do something than haranguing them. Is there anything that turns people off more than abstract notions? That's why the Stoics don't say, stop doing this, it's a sin. Instead, they say, don't do this because it will make you it will make you miserable. They say endless pleasure becomes its own form of punishment. Their method of persuasion. Hew the line in the 48 Laws of Power. Appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. If you find yourself trying to persuade someone to change or to do something differently, remember what, what an effective leader self-interest is. It's not that it's not that this or that is bad. It's that it is in their best interest to do it a different way and show show them don't moralize and what happens when you when you apply this way of this thinking your own in your own behavior in your own behavior in your self-interest. So reflect and contemplate, recognize how do we portray when we believe someone should change? What do we say? What do we do? How do we come across? Do we say, don't do that, it's bad for you? 
Oh, don't do don't do that. It's a sin. You shouldn't do that. Did we say you shouldn't do that? It's bad for you. That's all around. So this kind of rhetoric is all around. Don't do that. It's bad for you. There's nothing good or bad for you. There's nothing good or bad, right or wrong. This is duality. This is a framing. This is yeah, if you think something's bad, if you if someone tells you not to do something because it's bad, you probably want to do more of it. You probably do want to do more of it. If it's if someone tells you something is bad, you probably want to do more of it. Someone tells you not to do something because you shouldn't do it. If someone frames it like that, they'll then yeah, it's there's no there's no self-interest in that. It there's no self-interest in not doing something because it's someone says it's bad. If someone says, don't do that because it'll make you miserable. Ah, you might think, oh yeah, I prefer not to be miserable. So it's not like the, it's not like the thing is bad. So it's, it's a fact that it's making you miserable. Hmm. Reflect on that. It's not the thing that's making you miserable. Though. It's your. It's a perspective, an idea that we're we're emoting with, part, with participation with that thing, with gambling, with alcohol, with drugs, with pornography, whatever. Pick pick something that. People do on our social media, codependency. It's not. Gambling isn't bad in itself. But a lot of gambling can make you miserable. But gambling can make you miserable. But gambling, pornography, sex. You know, doing the thing is not is not bad. Sit with that. But it would be in your self-interest not to do that. And we yeah. We love we love to be out, we love love we love ourselves. We love ourselves enough not to do not to do things that make us miserable. For example, people gamble. Millions of people gamble and take drugs and alcohol, but they're not miserable. Not everyone is miserable who, who does that, who takes the substance, how it does the thing. Not everyone is miserable. So it can't be it can't be that the thing is bad. Otherwise, everyone would be miserable who does that thing. This is this is a misunderstanding why people are trying to ban drugs, alcohol, gambling, and with the on with the understanding that the thing is bad. And yes, I'm sure gambling or what addictions have negative effects on people. The substance of it, but there's many things that have. You could coffee, chocolate, you know, types of food. If we if you eat, if you do, if you eat a certain type of food all the time, then yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna have negative effects. There's no difference to gambling or alcohol. 
so it's reflecting but what is it in my self-interest to stop doing that thing or do that thing less it's in your self-interest hmm. enjoy your day